Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and today we are once again returning to the Lumineth Realm Lords. It's been a while, and we are finally back. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting up the Venari Blade Lords today, and, well, it's been primed in Wraithbone, just like all of our previous Lumineth, and the colour we're going to be starting with is Corax White. We've done this before, and, well, we're going to be using this over the top of all of our armor and this is going to include this little device just here on the chest as well and we're just going to layer this all over just like this now you might be thinking why don't we just prime the model in white scar well these lumineth are a tricky paint job particularly in the colours of Eumetrica. And we want to be able to correct our mistakes as and when they crop up. So the reason we don't do it with White Scar is because correcting White Scar is very difficult. Whereas correcting Wraithbone is a lot easier. It does mean that the rest of our colours get that nice warm feeling to them. Just going to go over all the armor just like this. What we're also going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of the trousers and the undershirt as well. So with that done, it is now time to start adding some base coats to the model. We've got this clear distinction between the wraith bone and the white on the model, as you can see just there like that. So the first color we're going to be using is Saigor Brown. And we're going to be using this on the boots and on the gloves. Nice and easy to start. So with that Saigor Brown applied, we've also applied it to the little corset type area on the back here. And so what we're going to do now is move on. And the next colour we're going to be using is a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Frost Heart and Contrast Medium. And this is going to be used on the trousers and the undershirt. So we're just going to start up here and work our way across the model. You just want to watch for any kind of really dark pools here. I'm looking for a nice clean colour. With just a hint of shading basically. And one thing to bear in mind is round here on the back that the shirt just does come round like that. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to paint the exterior of the cloak as well as the banner and the colour what we're going to be using for this first is Talisar Blue. Now we want to load up our brush here and we want to get once again just a really nice smooth coat of this on the model. And we want to just go along the outside of the cloak. Like so. I should also say that we're going to paint in the kind of strapping. Around here. And we're 
also going to paint in, as I mentioned, the field on the banner on the back. With that Talisar blue applied, we're then going to take some Ultramarines blue. I'm going to use this over the top of all of our Talisar blue details. Just like this. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Skeleton Horde. I'm going to apply this over the top of the inside of the cloak, but we're also going to apply this over the top of the rune on the banner. Just like this. So with that done, what we want to do is we want to once again use some Ultramarines Blue, only this time we're going to use a very small amount. I'm going to use this to basically fill in the rune on the back banner. So with that done, on both sides of the banner, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Dreadful Visage and we're going to apply this over the top of this little area, just here, just like that. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Asaman Blue. I'm going to use this over any of the little tassels and things. Like that, scattered all around the models. Just like that sort of thing. In addition, if you're painting ones with helmets, what you'll want to do, for example, with this guy who's finished, You'll want to paint the whole thing with frost heart and then you'll want to add the asaman blue on either side here and here just like as you can see there it looks a little bit darker but that's because it's gone over the top of frost heart you'll also want to use asaman blue over any runes on any of their helmets so with that now done what we're going to do is we're going to take some flesh terrors red i'm going to apply this to the sword handles Just like this. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Gore Grunter fur. I'm going to apply this over the top of the banner pole and the sword scabbard. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Gilliman Flesh and we're going to apply this over her face. So 
So with that done, what we're now gonna do is gonna take some skeleton hoard and we're gonna apply this to the hair. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to move on to the metallics. And the first one we're going to do is all of the warm gold. And this is going to be all of the areas such as the top kind of rune on the banner on the back up here. We want to do the frame of the flag. And that sort of thing. We want to do the decorative features on the scabbard and on the swords. We want to do the rune on the chest. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Liberator Gold. And we're going to use this as our first colour on all of our, well, I guess cold gold. If we're going to say warm gold for one of them. This is going to include all of the areas, such as the trim and any remaining gold metallic details. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron hand steel. I'm going to use this to paint in the sword blades and the scale mail. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to add some shades to the model. And the first one we're going to add is Griff Charger Grey. I'm going to be using this on all of the silver details. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Gilliman Flesh and we're going to apply this over the top of all of our warm gold. So everywhere that we did with the Retributor armour. Just like this. So with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Agrax Earth Shade, some of the new reformulated stuff. I'm going to use this to shade all of our cold gold, so our mixture. Well, it's not a mixture just yet, it's Liberator Gold. Getting ahead of myself there. So with that done, our Blade Lord is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. However, we are not going to leave it there. No, we are going to take them to the next level. Now, the way we're going to do this is by adding some layers and some highlights. And the first one we're going to do is Blue Horror. And we're going to thin it down just a little bit more than we normally do. Because what we're going to be doing here, we're going to effectively re-layering the entire of the trousers and the undershirt. So we want this to be really bright. But we are going to avoid the deepest recesses and we're going to thin it down that little bit more than normal because it's a well it's quite a bright layer paint so it can be a little bit temperamental i think is the right word so 
So it might take you two layers to get it to where you want it to be. But that's okay if it does. You might actually just really like it after one layer because it kind of shows through that base coat just a little bit more. As you can see on that leg, just avoiding those recesses, making that nice and bright. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Corax White and we're gonna use this to essentially do a little bit of a clean up job on the armor where we need to. So for example, just there, I was a little bit overzealous with the Agrax Earthshade on that knee pad. Just check the other one. Now I think we're all good. We've got a little bit of shading on there as well, like so. But what we're also going to do is we're going to use this to essentially paint in the white bordering on the cloak and on the banner. like that. So that Corax White applied, having forgot to do it earlier, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Seraphim Sepia and we're going to apply this to the recesses on the inside of the cape. Just like that. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Screaming Skull and we're just going to use this to apply a little bit of a spot highlight to the sharp straight edges at the bottom of the cloak. We're going to use this to highlight her hair. Like that sort of thing. And we're also going to use this to add just a little tiny highlight to the top. Of the rune. Just around there, like that sort of thing. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to use some Hoeth Blue. We're going to use this to highlight our blue cloaks and flags. I'm just going to pick out the edges. Like this. I'm also going to do this on the darker blue ribbon and things like that. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to work on the face. And the colour we're going to be using first for this is Flayed One Flesh. And basically what we're going to do here is essentially almost a full relayering of all the skin, just avoiding the recesses. Just like this. And with that done, we're then going to take some pallid witch flesh and we're going to apply this as our little spot highlight sharpest details
around the face. Just like this. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take a tiny amount of Black Legion. We're going to apply this over the top of the eyeballs. Like this. And with that done, what we then want to do is take a tiny dot of Screaming Skull. You want to add it in each corner. of the eyes like that so with that done what we're now going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to start highlighting up all the metallics and the color we're going to be using first is a roughly two part storm host silver to one part retributor armor mix we're going to be using this to highlight all of our cold gold this is going to be all of the armor trim basically So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to move on to the silver. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron hand steel once again, and we're going to use this to relayer the sword blades, avoiding the decoration. Along the length of it. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to highlight all of the silver using some Stormhost silver. So we're going to pick out the edges of the blade like that, for example. I'm going to pick out the scale mail too. Just like this. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some thinned down Liberator Gold. And we're going to use this to highlight all of our warm golds. This is the areas that we just painted with Retributor Armor. And with that done, just to finish off the Blade Lord, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Magos Purple and we're going to apply this over the top of the gems on the sword hilts. Here we have it then folks, the Venari Blade Lords in all their glory are now finished. I'm not going to lie, I did miss painting Lumineth. Time just gets away from me always and I'm a very busy boy, I'm a one man band so it's just unfortunately a case of time and other things getting in the way but this was just like, it felt like coming home. It was really fun, really fun to paint these up. I hope you found it useful because we've not kind of covered this kind of slightly newer Lumineth with a bright blue for example so really fun. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, exactly like these awesome folks have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.